Africa. And nature is my teacher. If the spiritual philosophy or teaching is true, you must be able to prove it from nature. Mm -hmm. Nature teaches us the spiritual laws. Nature is the very body of God. You see, you are seeing me. You are actually seeing my body. You don't see me. Right. You see my, my body. You don't see my mind. You don't see my feelings. You don't see my senses and my, my spirit. So when we touch the air, we only touch in the body of the air. Mm -hmm. The earth is the body of the earth. These are all spiritual ideation. Right. Life is pure energy vibrating at varying frequencies. One of the frequencies is the fire, water, earth, and air. Mm. So in African spirituality, we teach that the universal God, the universal creative love intelligence that we choose to call God, is God on earth through fire, water, earth, and air. Mm -hmm. So the fire, the, when the sun rises, I'm the reason for the risen sun. Do you know that? Mm -hmm. You are the reason for the risen sun. And you need to have communion with the sun, in the, 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 the fire, the water. These are, without these four, there's no life. No life, right. So what gives you life is life. And each of these are huge spiritual intelligences you can commune with. When you take the water in your glass and you hold it in both hands, you can talk to water. It will talk back to you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But we've not learned spirituality from nature. And most spiritual teaching is just like human invention and ideas of what they believe spirit should be. Right. That's the graven image. Right. Yeah. Graven image. We have graven images of what we believe God should, should be. Mm -hmm. But when you want to know God, touch God in the air you are breathing. Breathe the air and tell yourself that in the seventh breath, I will receive inspiration concerning this financial issue. Mm -hmm. Consciously take the six breaths and the seventh breath, you will notice a change in you. Mm -hmm. Commune with life. That's the air. The, the air. Yeah. yeah. You can do the same to the rays of the sun, mm -hmm. the earth. Life is alive. Right. Life <laughs> One of my comes... favorite statements. Life is alive. <laughs> yes. Life comes from life. And what gives you life is life. Mm -hmm. Life is creative, loving, intelligent, powerful, purposeful. Then you, you are waking to this. Prayer is no more asking God something. You don't need to tell God what your big problems are. You <laughs> tell your problems what a big, God. creative, love, yeah. intelligent God there is. Yes. You see, when you come to uh, African spirituality, you come to realize that we are not created beings created and put into life. Right. There's no creator out there in the sky who created human beings. We emerged yes, from life. Yes, there it is. We are <laughs> emergent beings. Yes. The waves emerged from the ocean with the watery and the salty nature of the ocean. And you have emerged from life with the abilities, possibilities of the entire universe. That's right. And when you can prove that you are living in the powerful, purposeful, spontaneous, creative, love, intelligent universe, when you can have evidences of this, it raises your vibration to that frequency and you vibrate it. So you no more pray to a power to do something. You raise your vibration to the frequency <laughs> of the power you want to express and you simply allow it to transmit through you. Absolutely. Not You are big.
grown up, 25, 30 years old, you blaming your mother and your father for your shortcoming? Don't you realize that you are now the master of your destiny? And if you as a grown person want to continue to blame the white man, blame your father, blame your mother, blame the educator. I had a bad teacher. I went to that dumb school over there. I, I was in reform school. I went to jail. I went to here. Every place you've been is school. And if you learn what you're supposed to learn, you come out of wherever you've been with a determination to become your own master is this white man damnable world that that cracker built that no good pack of wood hunky and you steam yourself all up and what have you done the white man is still ruling and you still talking about him and you can't see that if you don't get a grip on you the white man will be in power tomorrow the day after the secret and the of selling after. to the negro is expressed in one word that word is recognition. Now, there's nothing unusual about that. People want to be recognized. They need recognition. That's basic in all of us. But perhaps because he's had so little of it, the Negro needs even more. He needs to feel important and appreciated. This need is a very real and important one. It shows up even in many of the Negro's shopping habits. Anyone who sells or wants to sell to the Negro customer should know about some of these habits. Three habits in particular play a big part in every sales transaction. To begin with, most Negroes buy by brand. They ask for products by name. They're quick to turn down off brands. Do you wonder why? Well, listen to what this customer is thinking. Hmm. That last hat I bought just didn't hold up at all. You see, for a long time, the Negro has been sold a lot of shoddy, second-class merchandise. So now he asks for name brands in order to make sure he gets his money's worth. Buying by brand, that's the first important Negro buying habit. Talked before, and you were saying that they had you on medication, but the medication with your creativity. It blocked my ability to channel what God wanted me to do. We're all on medication right now. Did you use toothpaste with fluoride today it blocks your pineal <laughs> gland and they put children on it and we put we put our kids on it you know it's inside the the deodorants that we use is all these things to create like a disconnect to God to serve that it's like are you serving man or are you serving the one and only master but what yeah. did they tell you yeah. when when they said that they were gonna put you on medication what did they put you on and what, was, what did they tell you one of my favorite things that they did is they put me on this medication that made me gain a lot of weight and I said I'm not gonna take this and they said okay we got a medication you could take but you won't gain weight and this shows you they were trying to kill a superhero slowly trying to kill genius I remember saying you know slavery is a choice and they medicated me saying for saying weight. The 808 exists in the lowest chakra of your body. The majority of content that's related to the 808 is killer or sexual content. The original 808s was even off pitch. So that meant it's an actual sound in the track that you don't realize is there that is fucking up it your entire you frequency. Right. And now, today, every time I hear a car come out, it's 808. But if you think about African music and hip hop and what we break it to, break dance to, it was light. The percussion. It was upbeat. Mm. It was the drums. Mm. Now it's like, and all of this is. Also been working for a long time where you don't have to be racist anymore. It's called self-hate. It works on itself. It's like real estate of racism. Where just like that, when someone comes up and says something like, I am a God, everybody says, who does he think he is? I just told you who I thought I was. A God. I just told you. That's who I think I am. Would it have been better if I had a song that said, I am a nigga? Or if I had a song that said, I'm a gangster? Or if I had a song that said, I am a pimp? All those colors and patinas fit better on a person Detail like me. matter existed in the early universe, and that it still exists today, but immediately annihilates itself. Since 
Matter is created by space and time. Essentially, space and time is 3D. But when an odd, but let's say it's a flat grid. Since space and time is a flat grid, it can be, it can be distorted. Like for example, if we put an object, like this, like a, like a planet on there, it would bend it, but not too much. Oh, let me make a curve change. But, but if we put a, something like a star on there, there, we could make, for example, but we could, it could put a large amount of pull and it could make something like a hill. The hill is what keeps the moon from, the hill is what keeps the moon. But essentially, space and time is gravity. Gra gravity distorts space and time. And also, what distorts it even more is energy. Energy is produced by stars and it's produced by movement. That's what essentially energy is. It's movement. Have you made a lot of money out of your music? Money? I mean, what is, how, much is, how much is a lot of money to you? Yeah, that's a good question. Have, have you made, say, millions of dollars? No. Are you a rich man? What do you mean rich? What do you mean? You have a lot of possessions, a lot of oh, money in the bank. Possession make you rich? I don't, I don't have that type of richness. My richness is life forever. What separates me from a lot of people is they go into an, a daunting task, and the task is overwhelming. Like, when I heard the pull-up record was 4,020 pull-ups, and I was talking about breaking this record, people are like, oh, my God. I went right to a pen and paper. They go, what are you doing? I'm doing the math, man. What are you talking about? I'm open-minded to the fact that, okay, if I do five pull-ups in a minute for so many hours, I can get so many pull-ups in. How much time do I have to rest? I was breaking the math down. You have to be open-minded to the possibilities that I can do this. 
Once you shut your mind down to the possibility that it can be achieved, there's no way it can happen. So that's why my, my eyes and my body light up about things, because I know that if you're in a fight, you have to attack. You have to keep attacking. The but enemy has to... your know. ambition, really, but you've got to have vision. In the book about all of these people who'll say... You know, my dad beat me or mom did this, but she really loved me. And a key chapter in the book is the chapter on children where I'm saying that, no, in fact, if we are being abused in any way, we are not being loved. That love is antithetical to abuse and to domination. And that um, marvelous moment in for me in the book when I'm talking about what do we teach our children about love? What is the miseducation we give them? And part of the miseducation we give them is that you can violate someone and then say you love them. And I, I think as we ponder why we are raising a nation of violent children, we, we have to ponder that miseducation about the nature of love. We only have one enemy. The European is not our enemy. The only enemy that we have is the Judas that dwells within. And each of us is born with a Judas and a Messiah. And the Judas was born in you to make sure you never reach your divine purpose. And the Messiah was born in you to make sure Judas fails.